what's going on? Jerome here along with Ron. Look, little happy he is to be here. So happy. He's so happy, Alex. But you should put a little smile on his face. He's so happy. <laughs> you look so miserable. Well, anyway, everybody, we are hopping in right now, and we're going to show you guys around my childhood basement. This is the place where, like, ever since I was a little kid, we used to play around and do all sorts of fun things. I remember back when, it wasn't even this TV, we used to have this huge, bulky TV that was literally, like, this, like, thick this way, horizontally. Well, and the, the big thing in the back. Right? Yeah, with the big box the tubes in the back. and stuff, yeah. Yeah, and, and we used to play uh, Halo, the original one on Xbox in there. System linked it to the back room over there, and we'd get, like, a, a little portable TV that was, like, this big, maybe, like, six inches by six inches, and put that in the back, and everyone would be crying around in our four-player split screen. And moral of the story is, there's a lot of history behind this basement. Uh, I had a lot of, uh, a lot of fun times on here with a lot of my good friends throughout the years, and still do to this day. That's why we're just hanging out here. You know, it's the keys behind the camera, Ron, right here, and it's uh, just important to me. So, come on, I'll show you guys around. So, pretty much from here, we got obviously the pool table where Ron destroys me every single time, every, uh, literally every time. I lose almost every game of pool I've ever played. I, I'm absolutely atrocious. I love pool, mostly because I like hitting the balls as hard as I can. But, it's not the only thing I destroy. Oh table. yeah, now this one's funny. So this side right here is where he did it. So Ron, one time, we were in the basement. This is like uh, back in high school. It's probably like 11th grade, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe yeah. 10th grade, actually. 10th Who grade. knows? And, no, it was definitely 10th grade, I remember. And Ron's throwing the balls back and forth. He hits this, shoots up, and breaks the the lamp right here. You, you can go see yeah, it from the, the side. Crack. It's still crack. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he literally breaks the lamp over there. And this too. This wasn't like this. That was that was a full panel. So what my dad did to make it symmetrical is he went to the other side and he broke the other panel out. So now it's symmetrical. So instead of fixing it, he just broke the other end. It was like there, it's fixed now, Jerome. And I was like, Dad, it's really not fixed, but okay. But at least he wasn't really that mad at us. So that was that was nice. Um, then from there we got the air hockey table. We didn't really play this much as kids, but we did use it a lot for like poker nights and stuff. So we had like poker nights, believe it or not, of, I would say at peak, at peak was wrong. We had 15 people one time, is that fair to say? Yeah, no, I, I think we had three tables at one point, right? Yeah, we had this playing over here. on the poker table, which we'll set yeah. up sometimes. Yeah, people here, people around here, and people over there. Yeah, so we had up to 15 people at a time back in high school. Those were fun. Those were fun poker nights. We used to do that probably like once a week, twice a week. Over the summers, three times a week. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's just not much to a do. Hobby, we sure. we literally live in like the middle of nowhere in New Jersey and there's just nothing to do. Like everything in my town besides the 7-Eleven closes at 9.30. Is that fair to say? 10? 9.30, 10, yeah. Everything. Yep. Uh, so there's literally like nothing to do at night. So we just play poker and hang out in the basement like all the time. This was always the hangout spot. This is cool. So I don't know how, but my uncle got his hands on it and I think my dad got it for my uncle. It's an old fashioned jukebox that actually works and we replaced the CDs in there. Uh, probably, now this is, this is going on probably 14, 13 years ago. So it was all my sister's old music from there. There's literally like Pink is on here, uh, Britney Spears is on here. Like I'm talking like, Old stuff. There was Eminem in one of his like first albums, that Eminem show. That was like from ages ago. Good Charlotte. I still listen to Good Charlotte. But uh, my sister just kitted it out with all of her favorite CDs at the time, uh, and it still works. Uh, I mean. We kind of got to plug it in, but I forgot how we did it. Then my uncle opened up the machine and pushed the button a bunch of times and the coin slot goes in. So it's got like a near infinite amount of plays. Um, but I guess if those plays ever run out, we have to start actually putting coins in there. Three plays for one dollar, I'll pay up. Start collecting money every time you guys come over. These, these are the poker chips and everything. Um, so there's that, we used to use those, you know, for playing poker. This, I don't understand. No one in my family plays guitar. You know, we got an acoustic and an electric one. No idea. Literally zero. I don't even know if they're ours or if my sister's friends had left them over at one point. I literally no idea where, where they came from or why they're there. But we have two guitars. Guitars. Uh, ping pong tables. We used to play very, very intense ping pong. Things are looking a little, uh, looking a little messed up here. But we used to play this all the time. I, I actually had a dirty serve back in the day. I this still looks just as good as the office table after you destroyed it. Well, keep in mind how old this table is, dude. This was here when I was about six years old. So this has been around for 17 years now. I mean, it's held up pretty good for 17 years. It's it's clearly it's sturdy as uh, ow ever. Ow. Some of Cookie's leftover food. Oh yeah, whenever I used to bring Cookie up, uh, I had her hay, food, uh, litter. She's in Florida right now. Alex is taking good care of her. Thanks, Alex. 
Um, and yeah, this is the poker table that we used to unfold whenever we'd have big poker nights. And if you saw the good foosball video I did with Adam, aka... That guy, then, uh, you know, we, we had a fun time playing this. It was, it was good. So we used to sometimes play this kids, not as often. I'd say we played this and air hockey the least out of everything. I actually really like foosball. I do too, but we just never played it. I used to know this one trick, you might want to get in on this one, Skis, yes, you ready? Where, if you put your thumb like this around it, you can and spin. And push it off the edge. Yeah, you can spin it. So it's just it. <laughs> Oh, that actually almost just went in off the start. And... Oh! Think you're better than me? Think you're better than me? Oh, man, this is so buns. Oh. Buns? Are you just mad? Look, this is a long point. Oh, dang it. Oh! 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 He cheats. He's a cheater. Oh, the dartboard, too. This was literally like the ultimate basement. If you can imagine being like a high schooler, this oh, was... Oh, that's two doors. If you can imagine being a high schooler, this basement was like the ultimate basement. No, I think this is what we use the least out of anything. Oh, no one played darts. Right? Before. Like... Uh, <laughs> great shot, Ron. <laughs> that was... That was <laughs> bad. Oh, boy. I did. Yeah, and I was real close, too. Oh, uh, what is that? Triple 12. That's 36 points. Yeah, that's actually not bad. I think I win. Uh, yep. What'd you do with the t uh... Well, I didn't do anything. How, did, how in the world did you accomplish that, Ron? I think I meant one of these numbers. I got banned for playing at my friend's house because he had metal tip darts for a dartboard, and I saw him got stuck in his ceiling. It was Charlie. <laughs> so I was banned from playing ever again. Oh, these are my old debate trophies from back when I did debate in high school. I was actually really good. This isn't even all of them. This is only some. I, I was really... Good at debate. There's everything from that was a Princeton national tournament. They did one at uh, Bronx in New York City. Um, is this a trophy or a bowl? That 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 is a trophy bowl. That was from I think it was Harvard. Oh, it does say something. In that was Harvard. Yeah, that was from Harvard. Uh, and also, in case the zombie apocalypse right, it comes, it's a helmet. It's a helmet. No, it's not a helmet. <laughs> uh, but I got that from Harvard. Uh, there's a few other gems in there. Uh, where is there? A lot of these are like local tournaments as well. I'm not even mentioning those. Uh, there's Yale. There's that plaques from like a tournament at Yale. Um, where is uh, this little tiny guy I got? Because I was apparently the novice state champion of New Jersey, which was kind of cool. So I was apparently the best first year person in New Jersey that year. That was cool. Um, oh my god, I made this abomination. And I. I think it might have been ceramics class. What is that? It might have been is this paper mache. Yeah. yeah, it's paper mache. It's ceramics. Look <laughs> at that disgusting thing. We had to combine as many animals as possible. So I combined. I think it was a duck, um, maybe a deer, and probably a dog. You had to, the goal was just combine as many as possible, make a paper mache. So I made that in ceramics class in high school. Oh, and then look at fetus drone. That's what I call baby drone. Back in the back in the old ye old football days. Oh, some other weird stuff as well. No idea where my uncle got these from, but I, I got them a lot from my uncle. Just random assortments assortments of like cool knives and swords. Like this one, I believe, is a knife or a bayonet. Sorry, I think this no, this one right here. This was a bayonet from a, it's a U.S. Marine one. I think from the Vietnam era, Korean War era. So that's pretty cool. Um, Couple other ones as well. This one is an Italian one from back in either World War One or Two. I can't remember which one. Oh, uh, you can see it. Like, isn't this where you slip it over the top of the rifle and then you look through here? Type yeah, thing, that's right? a, yeah, so that's or, the bayonet. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if you'd look through that, but you'd hook it up, and I think it would hook up a little yeah. bit there. Yeah. And so this was the bayonet they'd use on their guns at the time. It's like really not sharp anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's years and years old. Um, and then like random stuff as well, like swords. The coolest one though, I love this one the most. I don't know if it ever saw action, but it's a US Civil War bayonet. So, put that on the front of a musket. So that's what, uh, this would be the uh, the north side, side because it says US on it, not the Confederate losers. Um, so, so there you go, you hook that up to a musket and then uh, you do musket things. So that was kind of cool. Uh, and then randomly there's a lot of other like humongous swords up here but not really sure why. 
Once again, I have no idea why, but every once in a while my uncle will just is say, oh, here you go. Katana? That one? I think so, yeah. Maybe. Oh, it is. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it is. Should we, should we break something? <laughs> Let's get break up the watermelons. But yeah, fruit so ninja, that. real life fruit ninja. What other cool stuff was there down here? Oh yeah, so then let me show you the back room. So now this was a later development. So after I graduated high school and went to college, my dad converted what used to be our old system link room where we hook up all the uh, Xboxes and stuff. He converted it to a workout room back here. So now you can just kind of come down here and uh, my dad's big into cardio. That's pretty much it. So, you know, sometimes we're on the treadmill. Usually use the bike. He uses this thing like every single morning. Um, and then there's a couple of weights in here. They literally only go up to 20. They haven't changed since I can't even tell you how long. I, literally as long as I remember those weights have been there. Um, there's also a lot of spiders down here, which is pretty nasty. They're kind of everywhere. Yeah, and over here as well, we have uh, some of the systems. I brought most out of Florida when I moved. We got like a Wii U there, which uh, the cord is broken because my pet rabbit chewed through it. We have the regular Wii right here, which the cord is broken because my pet rabbit chewed through it. We have the original Xbox down here as well, um, which is broken because my pet rabbit chewed through the cord. You're seeing a common theme here. She also chewed through the TV cord and she chewed through every other cord. I have the cords upstairs because my parents made me rebuy them all. And I think after that trip, after she had left and we actually counted up all the damage, I think I had to buy somewhere around 100 to $150 worth of wires, just wires that she had eaten through. My laptop charger, she ate that too. She ate the vacuum charger. Uh, I mean, she ate everything. What, oh, the BHS what, what's collection? the last time you've used one of these puppies? My God. Air Bud. You're going to laugh. I think back in high school once I had some friends over and watched Pokemon 2000 once as a, just for like, you know, nostalgia. Isn't it crazy that Listen, technology went from this to Pokemon just all 3? virtual? Pokemon 3 the movie? Are you kidding me? This is like the coolest VHS collection ever. Do you know, look, look, look at these ones right here. Going way back. This was... What? The Roosing Rollicking Adventure of the World's First Rockin' Rooster. Teenage rock a doodle Teenage Turtles. <laughs> rock a doodle, Alex. Hey, Ron, you rock your doodle a lot, right? <laughs> oh, no, what other shitty movies are here? Actually, there's a, there's a bunch of classics in here. There like, are some classics. Like Aladdin. Yeah. Jungle Book. Bugs Life. Air Bud, dude! Air Bud and Air Bud Soccer? Bugs Life's great. I like, actually, I like Bugs Life. I used to love Daddy Daycare and Big Mama's House. Those were pretty funny back in the day. I feel really old now. What else is there? Pinocchio? Dude, I feel so old now. This used to be our technology, right? Oh, wait, there's no Rugrats. There's Winnie the Pooh down here. And yeah, my sister really used to like that. I have a few uh, never returned uh, Pokemon ones from the uh, VHS store. Like, we rented them and we just never. Remember to bring them back, kind of deal. Holy crap! I think they're long out of business. Do you remember this video game? Yeah, Underground and Underground Two are my Those favorites. Those are fun games. Those are still my favorite. Although racing I'm sure games. if we played this, we'd think, "What are these brick cars? Like, it probably looks terrible." Well, remember we tried playing. Uh, me and you tried playing Call of Duty Three. The, you know, oh we, yeah, how did, bad the oh. graphics were. We or were even like trying try. like the side to side motion with the sensitivity up. Yeah. It was like snail pace compared to how it is now. No, it just wasn't that good. But anyway, everybody, that right there is my childhood basement. As you can tell, we had a lot of fun growing up as kids. Uh, Ron came in high school, but me and the guys would play back in like elementary school. We'd be here, middle school, uh, even before elementary school. It was always just kind of the spot where people met up uh, growing up. And I don't know, holds a lot of value to me. So anyway, glad I could share that piece of uh, my childhood and everything with you. But I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for future videos, put them down below the description, follow in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram, which is in the description. Um, have an amazing day. Bye, friends.